back in our show we have our food startup expert Krisha who works for the company Local Food Lab that teaches food startups to collaborate more and learn from tech startups. Yeah and she's here with us to talk about her top three food startups that we all should know about. Yes yeah, so Krisha what is number three? So it's hard to pick just three, but number three is a company called Cropbox that was started by a man named Ben Green, who originally started a company called Farmery. His goal is to make it easier for everyone to have an urban farm near them. So he puts urban gardens inside shipping containers and other people can access them by leasing them for month by month. And what's your second best? Second best is a company called Pop Upsters. So every event, every large event is better with food vendors there, but it's very hard for food vendors to connect with large event planners. So what Pop Upsters does is connects with the larger event planners and then brings hundreds uh, of food startups to those events. So everyone has a chance to try their products and the food startups have a chance to grow. Great, and what is the absolute number one? So the absolute number one has been a longtime favorite. It's a company coming out of Brooklyn, New York called Brooklyn Bouillon. And what they do is they sell traceable and sustainable stocks, demi-gloss, um, what has become known popularly now as bone broth. Uh, the reason it's my favorite is that these stocks are made with bones that farmers in the New York area had been traditionally throwing away. But when they met the founder of Brooklyn Bouillon, Rachel Maman, she said, why can't I make stocks out of your bone broth? She relabels it with their brand and they have a value-added product to sell that's delicious and very healthy. Sounds tasteful. Thank you for your insider advice and talk to you soon for more food startup stories. And for you guys at home, if you want to follow us, check out the link below and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube channel.